Just a little uh, update on the orrery. I've not been working on it as I've uh, been building the uh, CNC machine up over the last couple of months. So just back in, getting back onto this now again. Um, so in the last few videos, I'd cut the wheels um, and I'd made the little uh, little arbors for uh, each one. Sorry, the collets for each one. Uh, I've seen the mesh on the um, on the lathe. But one of the difficulties is when these are stacked on each other, so when these three are stacked up on top of each other, it's uh, getting the motion from this one um, to the top, so it will uh, run the, the earth and moon. So I've decided to go for this uh, tubing, the telescopic tubing, as I, th as I, th as I thought I would when I uh, started this. So this is just a little test piece, so I've mounted them uh, up and the telescopic tubing can be stacked on top of each other so you can see there that bottom one is um, it is showing at the at the very top there um, and then I've just got a piece of uh, MDF and I've just mounted this little arbor on there and let's give that a turn and you can see now that they're all turning and of course because they are different tooth counts on the gears you can see just through these little lines um, that I've drawn on uh, they were all lined up when I first did this but you can see just from this uh, little video clip you see how they're going and turning by varying amounts there we go due to the different uh, teeth number and the different uh, counts on each on each gear. Okay, so hopefully I need to mount this third gear. I'm actually going to use this MDF as a depthing tool. Um, I don't know how accurate it will be but uh, I've got another piece to test it on. I'm going to test it on uh, a plastic frame, a perspex frame before I go for the brass so we'll uh, see if it's accurate enough. So I'm going to hopefully depth this out, measure it out, distance uh, between these two and get this all mounted up in a uh, perspex frame to test it out. Okay, see you soon.